Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are actually testing two products out. So the stuff just fell out of this box. So we're testing this hair dye, um, which is Garnier Colour Sensation Intense Permanent Colour Cream in Delicate Opal Blonde. And we are also going to be testing John Frieda Violet Crush for Blondes Purple shampoo so uh we will see how we get on with this so it means everything has fallen out of the box um i don't actually need to take it out so um we've got gloves we've got conditioner we've got the hair dye and we've got the um developer so I have got on my old t-shirt which I use for painting and dyeing my hair with and other stuff. So um, yeah, let's get started. So got my gloves on. Um, let's give this a really good shake. These gloves are like quite tight, which is um, normal for me because I have quite big hands. So let's get on and stick it on our head. It's poor. I'm, I'm really hoping it's going to turn out okay because I do have. Um, orange and red tones so yeah just put more on my head <laughs> so yeah I'm going to carry on with this and I shall be back Okay hey guys, so the hair dye is on and I have just realised that there isn't any instructions uh, that have come with it to say how long that I need to leave the hair dye on for. So normally it's 35 to like 40 minutes. So um, I'm going to leave it on for probably 35 minutes, something like that. And um, hope for the best because there's no pamphlet with it, which is like, that's just weird. Uh, but luckily I have used uh, so many hair dyes before and the times are normally sort of the times I just said so um, fingers crossed things work out and um, I'm going to wash this off and then um, we will get to uh, see uh, what this purple shampoo can do and I have got a lot of different colours in my hair so yeah I shall be back in a bit. Okay, so I'm back and I'm about to wash the hair dye off my hair and I'm going to try this. Um, I would put before and after, but I can't really. Um, so um, yeah, I'm going to use this after I have... Um, Wash it out, put the conditioner on. Well, actually, I won't put the conditioner on. I will put the conditioner on after I use this. <laughs> and um, I will be back with the result and I will see how this goes. Because at the moment, um, I definitely have got some yellow. You probably, probably can't see, but um, through the hair dye, I can see that I've definitely got some yellow tones and definitely red tones. But I, know, I don't think purple shampoo who gets rid of red tones but we will um see so i'm gonna stop rambling and um i will be back with the result okay guys this is the finished result i've definitely still got red in my hair but that's to be expected when you dye your hair red and then want to lighten it <laughs> um i'm never dyeing my hair red again um, but yeah, it's definitely more brownie blonde, which is good. Um, at least like the roots are definitely going towards the right colour. 
so um i will probably do a better review on the um purple shampoo um, that i mentioned in um this video as it's um i like the smell of it and i think it has done something because i have got less yellow in my hair so um yeah i'll probably do a another review on that and do like a before and after um sort of thing so yeah i hope you enjoyed this uh video and i will have more videos coming very soon bye guys